last minute trip to Oman and I am here for just four days I believe. It costs almost equivalent to £20 to book a taxi just one way to get somewhere and we thought if this is the case why not just rent a car bear in mind I've had a license for about eight years but I haven't driven a car at all since I got my license so I was a bit anxious and a bit apprehensive about it but in the end I did go for it and we rented a car out I rent a car it costs approximately £20 for the whole day which is just insane insanely cheap and to fill up the tank was about eight we thought this is so much easier it's so much safer this is our car that we've rented i am the said driver i don't even know why <laughs> i haven't driven in like 10 years but yeah this is our car i'm really excited with those is a, is one house not even yeah actually it's from there so that whole thing is one house that whole thing is one house and like each house is about five cars because here you just need a car to be able to get anywhere one where all the men are coming out of the masjid and then there's this one where I am on and it's where the females are so it's quite cool actually because it just means that in mean, the cars are parked over there and it just means that you can kind of come out separately and not bumping bump to one another so that's fantastic So that, basically the way that you calculate pounds is you double it. So essentially this is five pounds guys, this is five pounds. Things here are so expensive, seriously, they're so expensive. <laughs> I, feel like, the I feel like that's a statement on its own. Okay, let's get in. We are currently at <laughs> Muscat Festival. They're like the light festival, apparently. I don't know what it is. This is part of the light festival, though. We've got different kind of light installations. Festival and I've got so much stuff. Not just stuff, but I got saffron, that was like the number one thing that I got. We've just left the where well, we're leaving the festival. And it was actually so much fun. I'm so sad that we didn't see the fireworks though. Yeah, we, we um, missed it because of fireworks. Yeah, we missed the fireworks. And we missed the fireworks with traffic because because we just I can't drive basically. Traffic and and like not <laughs> go around a circle. <laughs> and yeah. And now we're going home and it's like midnight basically.
good morning everyone today i'm on the roof of the building that my friend stays in it's the plan today is to go to um the grand mosque again we didn't get to see it properly yesterday so we're gonna go back today to see it properly with like tourists um and also to get to go in the men's section as well because you can't go there um when obviously people are praying so we're gonna go back there um go and have a look around take some pictures take some videos well the nice thing about the festival i believe it's an annual festival yeah, so music dance uh, lots of kind of cultural uh, events. I've got my sh driving shoes here because I'm wearing like sandals and they're heeled. But driving shoes in here, and I've got some dry fruits that I'm gonna have for breakfast. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Also, follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting loads more on there. I have this culture where you don't have to come inside to get to be served. So people will wait outside. For example, that car just came. So you sit in the car, and then someone from the desk will come and give you a menu and then it would give it to you, you would order what you want and then they bring it for you outside and give it to your car so you don't even have to exit your car which is Number one, I need to change my shoes because I am not wearing appropriate shoes for this at all Guys, we have made it to the Sultan Qaboos Mosque and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is the evolution area. Let me show you. So this is a place that you do the wash, which is called wudu. Is it? So this is where they do the wash. So you can imagine in the daytime, it's really busy here. It's so open and white. Take a look at that. I'm, I'm in awe. Guys, I'm in awe. Um, this is the Wador area for the females. So you can see again, the same sort of um, beautiful marble tile. It's just absolutely stunning. And then if we go this way, um, you can see the staircase going down. Right now, I'm inside the Sultan Qaboos Mosque. Uh, it's so intricate, the detail and just look at how beautiful it is. It's so absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Sorry. So it's open to visitors between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. So we literally got here at 10:35. So we are so lucky. And I was lit. I, I walked in with my mouth open. I literally walked into someone and they was like, Excuse me, I was like, oh, sorry. Beat drum, sing off key, set me free, set me free, cause you're so gorgeous. You make me feel gorgeous. currently at the Wave uh, Marina Beach and I really recommend it for anyone that wants to kind of enjoy a nice quiet as you can see it's extremely quiet isn't you a few people playing volleyball over there I think the plan now is just go have dinner and then get heading to bed this is what we just got from that crazy market and um, what was this beef I think it is So 
this is the penultimate day before I leave to go back home to London and I'm really upset because I've really really enjoyed it here in Oman I feel like I haven't even seen half of it and I just need more and more time so last night we had um, mashakik which is like um, it's like skewers really delicious um, it was kind of it's kind of like street food so they grill it on uh, like a barbecue and um, you kind of buy each one so one is a hundred is it pesos I think it is pesos or 100 I can't remember what it is but so it's basically about 20p I think about 20p today the plan is to go to the market and we're gonna go there and see what they have see if we can get anything authentic for friends and family tomorrow we're leaving our flight is at 2 p.m. which means we're going to, have to leave here at about um, 11 a.m. what I'm wearing today I'm just wearing a like wrap around skirt I got it just the other day actually from Gap. It's so pretty, it's wrap around and it's like frilled. So I thought the frills on this would go really well with the frills on this. I'm proud, you did so well. Thank We're trying to find a mosque to pray with her at. Um, such a hustle and bustle here. But. As the market closes at about 2 pm, and that's why we're shopping. We are just doing some last minute bargaining. Belong to Sultan Pobbles, who is the king of this country. I think one of them is his old one, and one is his new one, and they are absolutely insane. You can't even imagine what they look like inside. This is right outside of the market, so the soup is over there, and then across the river, we've got the cruise liners. We just took a pit stop to rejuvenate pretty much and right now we are off to watch the sunset somewhere we don't quite know where but we're gonna watch it somewhere and then we're going to have dinner at an iranian persian place <laughs> we missed the sunset again <laughs> we're gonna have dinner now at an iranian restaurant it's called Sh
Oh, this is cute. Thank you. Touching a palm tree. Look, actually touching a palm tree. People here are so nice. Just now, we stood up and we pushed our chairs in and the guy was like, the guy that owns the cafe, he was like, don't, why are you pushing the chair in? Don't push the chair in. And I thought he was telling us off, but he was actually saying, saying that he's gonna push it in. Like that's the kind of like courtesy and kindness that people here have. Anyway, we are back in our apartment now, so I'm gonna head to bed and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning.